A cross-section of stakeholders have patted President Bola Tinubu on the back for retaining the current NDDCMD and other two executive directors. At a press conference organized by Mosian civil society organizations, community-based organizations, non-governmental organizations, and other patriotic organizations in Oyo, the capital of Akwaibom state, the group stated that the federal government's decision was favorable to the oil-rich region and the country at large. The NDDC was among the dissolved boards of agencies and parastatals pending the constitution of a new one. As stakeholders in the Niger Delta region, we recognize the sacrifices and efforts expended by sons and daughters of the region before the last board was constituted. We are relieved to know that the managing director, the executive director's projects, and the executive director of finance and administration will retain to manage the commission pending the constitution of a new board. It is therefore out of place to argue against the retention of the managing director because section 2 subsection 1G of the NDC Act mentioned that office. At this time of our lives, the peace and progress of the region matters more to us than the infighting for positions and appointments. We say enough of the fight over the Niger Delta Development Commission in the DC. The dissolved Niger Delta Development Commission Board started off on a good note. We advise and appeal to Mr. President to consider members of the dissolved board for reappointments and allow it to operate. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.